The mission of Boot Up PD is really to give teachers and educators the resources they need to easily provide coding education to elementary school students. All right, so click where it says create, next to where it says scratch. So our economy is shifting, and it's more and more apparent that computer science is a new basic skill that everyone will need for economic growth and social mobility. These students, they're born digital, so really they're already using code in everything they do, so we want them to know how to write code. Well, let's not play games, let's create games. Let's not consume code, let's create code. And it's a very creative endeavor. So how does the Earthquake game work? How it works? Oh, let me show you. I'm doing a logo guessing game. I'm coding music. I believe that we are ready for it, and as we've seen with any shift in education and curriculum, if it's good for kids, people get on board with it. Our task is to get a robot who can only move one square at a time to me. a smiling face over here. It's me. <laughs> what does he need to do first? More. More. Awesome. Coding is its own language. And if we think about what we know is language and what the best time to learn a language is as early as possible. You see how there's a space right here, but there's not a space oh. right there? In coding, it's extremely specific. So if you add in an extra space, then it's going to keep repeating it until you, until get, you it get it right. Until you get the space. Makes Thank sense? You. Yes, a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We think that to create equitable access to 21st century skills, coding needs to be taught during the school day to all students. You've got code camps over the summer, or you have an hour of code, which is great. What that's done is introduced the idea of coding to a lot of people. But what about students who never would pick up coding? It has to be a core subject, and it has to be exposed to all students, and it needs to be done in elementary school. Instruction in computer science and, and opportunities to learn to code truly is an equity issue. And in order for us to have equity and accessibility for all children, it has to happen during the school day. Good job! Without access and equity, and only having select groups of people have access to that, that doesn't engage all of us in our thinking. Coding levels the playing field. Everyone has the same opportunity and the same advantages. Seeing some of the kids that are actually saying, I want to be a programmer, I want to be a computer scientist, or I want to be an electrical engineer because of this, it just gives me goosebumps. I'm a real avid fan of grit and persistence and productive struggle. I think coding supplies all of those things for them. It's something that, as an educator, that's what we live for. That we have just now taught our students how to apply risk-taking in a safe environment. If you make a mistake, it's considered a bug. We have a name for it. And what do you do? Well, you don't beat yourself up that you had a bug, right? You just debug it. You fix it. Here's my thing. If it's touching the sprite when he leaves, wouldn't the teleporter turn off? Like, my arrow is just, like, not working. I will tell you, our kids outpaced us very quickly. Several of our kids, I'm not sure we will catch, because they just have, have progressed at such an amazing pace. There are countries around the world that have made this a mandated part of their, of their curriculum. And I'm, frankly, I'm not sure why the United States hasn't caught on to that, because there's certainly a demand in the business community and a demand from parents to make sure their students have this basic skill and literacy. Code is everywhere you look. Kids need to understand that it's part of their everyday lives. And by understanding that it's part of their everyday lives, they'll be able to solve problems that we don't even know exist yet. We're creating thinkers. I think with so much out there, especially with social media, our students need to be able to think for themselves and make decisions for themselves. I think people think it's harder than it is. I think that people think it costs money. It doesn't. Most schools have at least one computer lab in every school site. That's all you need. That is all you need.